frustrated. Everything has gone so smoothly. It's been not a worry in the world. <laughs> Love. Have a great day. Well. Bye bye. <laughs> Ow, you look beautiful. <laughs> I remember when Chris first told me about this super hot girl that he met at a wedding. I could hear how excited he was to tell me about the story, so I humored him like usual. He told me they were introduced by a mutual friend, uh, chatted for a bit, and then suddenly this girl had to leave and head back to Ottawa. I figured it must have been something that Chris said because it sounded kind of like a getaway story to me. <laughs> I didn't have the heart to tell Chris at the time, but I figured there's no way he was going to see her again. Uh, but sure enough, Anne did come back. And for some reason, she even called Chris for a date. When I first met Anne, I realized exactly what Chris was talking about. This girl was not only really good looking, but she was so genuine and kind, almost too good to be true, and way out of Chris's league. <laughs> but all relationships, long-lasting relationships, need balance. And whatever it is they have together just works. And you're a really easy person to be around, and you fit seamlessly into our family. We love you so much. Chris, I could not be more proud to stand here with you today as your brother and your best man. You're an amazing guy. It's a relationship that I truly cherish. I can only hope my two boys <laughs> have as close a relationship as we do one day. For those who don't know me, my name is Michelle and I'm honored to be Anne's matron of honor. I say honored because it's truly the best word because I spent the last 11 years wondering how I could have gotten so lucky to have her in my life. I wanted to start out this speech by describing how unique and truly special and even magical Anne is, and I've tried to find the words, but then I realized you all probably know exactly what I mean. She makes you feel like you're the only person in the room she sees straight into your heart and soul, and you know she understands the deepest parts of you. She's true and kind, generous, caring, loving, and grounded. After Chris conveyed to me his dedication to not only Anne, but her entire family with the utmost care and sincerity during the most difficult time, I knew for sure that I loved him for Anne, and he had my soulmate best friend approval. Love you guys forever. And I fell in love with you from the moment we met. Oh, <laughs> yeah, here we go. You are my best friend, my soulmate, and I will always choose you. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in the good times and in the bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when your love is simple and when it's an effort. I will cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. I promise to listen to you and learn from you, to support you and accept your support. I promise to be faithful and always make our family's love and happiness my priority, including Barry. <laughs> I will work hard, be dedicated, patient, loyal, and playful. I am truly blessed to be a part of this journey with you. You're more than wifey material, you're soulmate material. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Chris, since our first date, I knew the spark we had was powerful. 
And by our second date, we were both mesmerized by how that spark effortlessly lit into a dazzling, comforting flame, which would keep us safe and warm for a lifetime. I truly believe you were designed for me. You are profoundly caring, respectful, humble, adventurous, nurturing, dependable, dangerously handsome, <laughs> and in my opinion, the funniest man alive. <laughs> you are also so much more. Your soul is so good and your intentions have always been pure. Thank you for loving me in ways I didn't know were possible. Today, I promise you three things. First, I promise to respect you and learn from you every day. Next, I promise to encourage you with unshakable faith, compassionately supporting you in times of prosper and despair. And lastly, I promise to always choose love over fear as we venture through this crazy life together as devoted playmates. Christopher, you're my best friend <laughs> and I will love you tirelessly. I give this ring as a symbol of my love for you. I give this ring as a symbol of my love for you. Chris and Anne have vowed in our presence to be committed and loving towards each other. They have formalized the bond between them with the spoken vows and with the giving and receiving of rings. Therefore, it is now my pleasure to now pronounce them husband and wife. Chris, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> It is now my privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Nierhoff.